You join me today as we try and put our season back on track by progressing to the last 16 of the Champions League. And we have a Premier League game against one of the best sides in the Premier League. <laughs> A very warm welcome to episode 87 of Making Chelsea Stand Proud. My name's Mark, and on today's episode, we have for you two games. First up, a Champions League league phase, match day seven, the uh, penultimate game in the uh, first round, as it is. It used to be the group stages, of course, of the Champions League, and it's against Freiburg at Stamford Bridge. Uh, we need to win it. Um, and our last game, which will be against Stuttgart in the next episode, uh, we need to win both those games in the Champions League league phase in order to progress to the last 16 automatically. And then we have a Premier League game, match day 24, against Manchester City, who we lost to last time out and are tucked behind us. Six points adrift from us at the moment, uh, which uh, means that it's a huge game uh, not only a six-pointer, but uh, it means that they can catch us. Um, well, not exactly, but uh, it will make a difference if uh, if we were to lose that game. Uh, so uh, we need to be on best form in this episode if we can. Since you were last with us, um, I don't think a great deal has happened. To be honest. well, a great deal has happened, but not as far as games concerned. Because uh, in the last episode. We lost 2-1 uh, to Manchester United, got knocked out of the Caribou Cup after four seasons, or three, three straight wins, four seasons in the final, got knocked out in the semi-final. Uh, so no final for us in that competition this year. Uh, we need to just focus on what's left and um, then a 2-0 win against our uh, rivals, arch rivals, Tottenham in the uh, local London derby, of course. Um as I said, Freeburg up today, then Manchester City. But what has been going on is transfer because we are heading towards the end of the transfer window and uh, things have been going on. Uh, Josko Gar Garvol... I can couldn't pronounce it last time and I can't pronounce it. Garv Garvidiol um, uh, was still waiting on his work permit to come through. In fact, can we tell from here? Um... I'm not sure we can tell. There must be a way of telling. If you know, tell me below um, to check on his uh, work permit. We'll, we'll have a look in a minute and uh, try and work out uh, what what. Um, but uh, we're hoping that he will be in very, very shortly. Uh, but there has been some activity in the transfer. Uh, we have brought in David Fratesi, uh, who has come in and joined us. Four-star current ability. Four-star potential ability. He's 26 years old. Um, we have brought him in from Hertha Berlin uh, in Germany. Um, we brought him in for £44 million. He was having a good season at Hertha as well. Uh, 7.39, four goals, three assists, one player of the match in 19 appearances for Hertha Berlin. Um, previous two seasons, uh, over seven as well. So... Uh, He's looking good. He is, uh, oh, sorry, flipped out. Um, he can play in that central midfield place or as a defensive midfielder, uh, whichever we want him to uh, play in. So uh, looking uh, for him to do stuff for us and uh, hopefully he will. And uh, we have registered him. We just need to register him for the Premier League. I will do that in just a moment or free uh but going out the other way the big money is declan rice has gone to bayern munich 130 million up front 156 million potential um so that is a big deal he's left us and uh, leaves a bit of a hole really and uh, i'm sort of like in my head i'm thinking that was probably a bad move because bayern munich now probably have the impetus to uh, go ahead and win the Champions League, which we're trying to win, um, and uh, we won't do it. And uh, I'm sure there's going to be people complaining in the comments 
going, why have you sold Declan Rice? Uh, he wanted to go, and I think by the time we realised it was too late, they were putting a lot of pressure on us. And I think if we'd stood in his way, I think he would have kicked up a right old uh, bunkum, to be honest. Uh, so it probably wasn't the best thing to do. Uh, right, so that's where it leaves us. Um, we're hoping that that uh, other player coming in very, very shortly will uh, do it. I'm going to sort out the uh, registration things. I've done it for the Champions League because that's the first game up, but we do need to sort it out for the Premier League as well. Uh, so I will get on and do that. Uh, have realised in doing the Champions League registration, of course, um, one only one place was spare. So uh, somebody's going to have to uh, thing out. And the other problem we got with the Champions League, of course, you can't just ship anybody out um, because of the minimum limits on homegrowns and all the rest of it. So it's going to be a bit of a juggling act to uh, sort that one out, I think. Um, when uh, Gavaldi comes in. Um, right, we'll get on with the episode then. Uh, Champions League League phrase, how we left it. We are in 12th as it currently stands. Um, some four points behind Wolves, Monaco, uh, who are taking up the 7th and 8th place, uh, of course, uh, as it works. Top eight go through automatically to the uh, next stage of the Champions League, then from 9th. Uh, I think down to 24th uh, playoff for a place uh, to join the other eight. Um, and uh, then uh, that uh, makes up the last 16. The advantage of being in the top eight to start off with means that you miss the playoffs, one. And two, uh, you get the advantage of uh, being in the uh, home leg second. And as we know against Manchester United, that is a definite benefit. Um, we play Freeburg today, who are currently down in 23rd. They've uh, they've won, uh, sorry, lost two and drawn three of their five last five games here in the Champions League. Uh, that compares to us, one, two, uh, lost two, drawn one. And uh, then we've got to play Stuttgart, who have won one, drawn two, lost two. Um, so uh, it's uh, it, basically what we've got to do is we've got to win both games in order to uh, progress to the next stage and hopefully having won those two games we're at the behest of the other sides playing as well whether we actually end up in the top eight uh, and go through this game is crucial and it's a must win so let's go and play Freiburg in this game the Champions League uh, league phase match day seven And here is the side that will face Freiburg in this uh, Champions League League phase match. And uh, just to note that um, our new recruit, David David uh, Fratesi, uh, we can't register him at the moment, but probably just as well because he's uh, he's n not completely fit either. So it gives us a chance to, uh, to bring him back to uh, fitness. Uh, so he's not going to make an appearance today. Can't register him. I just... Re does say you can the next registration point is the 2nd of february so uh presumably once the transfer window is closed um so uh we can't do anything until then anyway uh let's have a look at the side then that will face uh friesberg is maganen in goal um question is Magnan did play quite well last time out. Magnan in goal, then Chilwell, Timber, Fafana, and James making our defensive line. Uh, Dewsbury Hall and uh, Malenkovic Savic are in central midfield. Kuman, Mount, and Sterling are the uh, attacking playmaker, attacking uh, players. Habits is up front, and then on the bench we have Karnasechi, Garcia, Kovacic, Barboza, Cucurella, Fernandez, Sunset Bell, Kulabai. Altavio, Brozier, Andrin, and Matthias Tell. And here we go, the uh, Champions League screens playing our normal formation 4 2 3 1. And Freeburg playing a 4 4 2, conventional 4 4 2 by the looks of it. And confirmation of the two teams as the teams come out. Uh, 
Our first highlight, three minutes in. It's Dewsbury Hall through. Timber tried to get that in, but he's gone out for a corner, I think. Well worked. Free kick. Mount with the corner. Swung in. It's headed clear by the defence, uh, but uh, Savage heads it down. And uh, a bit of a wayward shot by Raheem Sterling. Throwing on that far side for Freeberg. Timber heads it away, but... It's not cleared yet. Dewsbury Hall. Havitz. Havitz has Kuman outside him. Kuman on a run. Kuman tries to thread that through looking for Mount or Havitz. I'm not sure which. Savage. James. Sterling. Sterling steadies the ball. Crosses it in. Again, nobody there. And uh, they are going to counter us all the time. Cut out by Savage. It's through. We've got to be careful here. And they've scored. And uh, we're behind after 14 minutes. And... Uh, I'm not sure what to say, really. And a goal kick. Gets us back underway. Kuman steals in and wins that habit. We need to profit from this. James with a yellow card. Flashed it over the top. Sterling again. Not threading that through. And I think we've just lost somehow or other. We've, we're panicking. Magnan saving that one. Fafana. Savage. Magnan. Fafana. To Chilwell. Timber with a free kick to James. James. That's the backtrack, Timber, Garcia, Dewsbury Hall, and he's caught out, but uh, won it back. Habits is in this time, though. Can he score? Yes. It's 1-1, 34th goal of the season. Habits the scorer, 45 minutes right on the stroke of halftime. And uh, that's a little bit better. L bit uh, casual, lost it, and uh, Dewsbury Hall putting Habits away. Rounded the goalkeeper, and uh, he's put it away. And no more highlights. Half time arrives. And you can see the uh, annoyance because James and Sterling both picking up yellow cards. Seven shots, three on target, 1.31, 53% uh, of the possession. They've had two shots, two on target, 0.26, 47% of the possession. Trying to catch us on the counter. We need to be better in the second half. And we have a corner. Mount with this corner swung in. It's... Uh, Defended, and they come away. Dropped down to 13th place as it currently stands, and uh, adrift. And uh, if we don't win this and it ends up a draw, we uh, pretty much are out of... Oh! Timber with a free kick then. Uh, I was about to say, we are out of uh, contention and uh, we'll be in the uh, playoffs if uh, we don't uh, win this game. It's a must-win mount. Dewsbury Hall. Dewsbury Hall finds Habits. Oh, just the goalkeeper just knocked that away. Habits was in again. Chilwell heads that down to Dewsbury Hall. Over the top. Kuman. It's cut out by the defence. Habits down to mount. Dewsbury Hall playing this nicely. Savage finds Kuman And Habits offside. And with 66 minutes on the clock, making three changes. Reese James has come off. Um, he... Uh, He's not having a good game. Taking him off, uh, Eric Garcia is on for him. Raheem Sterling having a poor, poor game. Uh, Gabriel Barboza on on the right-hand side of the attacking midfield. And Yaren Timber, who was playing in centre of defence, has been replaced by Kulabai. Garcia with a throw-in to Barboza. Barboza on a bit of a run. He's on his own. He's tried it, but he's uh, not quite got that on target. And a goal kick. Fofana heads that down. Dewsbury Hall goes out wide to Barboza. Barboza brings it under control, but loses it. Trying to find his uh, attack. And they come forward again. Paredes. And uh, the man who did all the damage in the first half. It's over the top, uh, but Maganen gets there. I like he's going to continue. Magnan throws it out to Kulabai. Kulabai finds Garcia. Garcia comes down this wing. He's looking for Barboza in front of him. 
Savage, Dewsbury Hall, Mount, Kuman over the top for Barboza. Barboza, second goal of the season. He's come on super sub. Gives us the lead after 78 minutes. And a fine counter-attack it was too. Mount, Kuman, Kuman over the top. Looking for Barboza. Barboza on the run. And he puts it away. Maybe we should play Barboza more often. And with 78 minutes on the clock, making one more change. We've taken off Mason Mount. And uh, Octavio comes on for him as that advanced playmaker. Chilwell worth a throw in. Long throw in to Kuman. Kuman brings it under control. Has a flash shot and it's gone over the top. They have a free kick. Swung in and Magnan saves it. Oof. He says do or die. It's not as uh, clean cut as I thought it was going to be. Magnum, what's he going to do with this? He throws it out to Kulabai. Kulabai to Savic. Otavio. Barboza looking for habits. Didn't find him. And they counter attack. Barboza there again. Savic goes out wide looking for Kuman. Didn't find him. But Chilwell was there in support. Kuman. Kuman. It's block shot. Oh, he's come back off the woodwork. Oh, <laughs> And uh, I think it was an offside there in that. And we're in injury time. Second minute of injury time. The end of this game. And uh, we've got to be careful. Otavio. Chilwell. Fafana. Chilwell. Dewsbury Hall. Otavio finds Kuman on a run. kuman has been having a good game. He's uh, moving around there and uh, didn't get that shot away again. Ginter. Throw in on that far side. It's crossed in. Chilwell heads it back to Magnan. We are in the fourth minute of four added on. Magnan needs to be very careful here, whatever he's doing. He's thrown it out of Fafana. Fafana finds Savic. Ch oh! And messed that up. Fafana, Dewsbury Hall. Savic looking for Barboza. Didn't find him. And they're on the ascendancy again. But Kulabai's there. Steps in. And uh, that's over the top. It's gone out. Still time for a highlight from that throw in. And it's all over. We have won this game by two goals to one. And last time I looked, we were up to about 10th, um, which uh, means that we're only a couple of points away. It's all down to that last game against Stuttgart. Uh, we need to be uh, sorting ourselves out uh, before then. Um, so as it's ended up, Barboza saving our blushes. Uh, we put under the cosh uh, by uh, Solidilia. Um or Sildia after 14 minutes and then Kai Havertz getting us back level at half time on 45 uh, Barboza on 78 uh, 25 shots 7 only 7 on target that's pretty poor uh, 2.95 on the XG plenty of shots which is good 56% of the possession they had 8 shots 4 of which were on target uh, 0.62 and 44% of the possession I'm surprised Mike Magnan only had 6.6 .6 as he uh um, presumably saved quite a few if uh, they have four shots on target. Uh, anyway, Kingsley Kuman, a player of the match, um, which is, uh, from what I saw from the highlights, was uh, outstanding. And Barboza, I think, must get a start in front of Sterling on that right-hand side. He's uh, come on and had an excellent game, uh, as Dewsbury Hall again in midfield. So let's have a look and see how that affects the Champions League table. And uh, there we go. Uh, just confirmation that we are in 10th place. 13 points. Uh, we are tapped in. Wolves and Monaco are the two sides above us. Uh, the most we can get is 16. We could pass Barcelona, uh, but it all depends on how Barcelona get on in their final game, of course. And uh, Stuttgart. Can we find Stuttgart? Stuttgart 2-2 two -two draw with Real Sociedad. And they are down in 25th. They'll be fighting for a place in that uh, playoff uh, position. So uh, it won't be as straightforward as it looks. Uh, that is for sure. Manchester City, interestingly, down there as well. Seven games. They've only picked up eight points, which is a bit of a worry. How did they get on today? Celtic winning 5-0 against Lyon. Um, Manchester City beating uh, Ledegratz 5-0 today. Um, so uh, that's put that to bed then. And here's a screen that tells a story. And uh, we were pretty much dominant in the whole of that game. Should have won it by far more goals. I mean, we won it. That's the main thing. 
Uh, but uh, the one time that they had a little bit of impetus uh, was the time they scored. So it's just as well we didn't let them um, do that, really. Uh, that's the main thing. The other bit of news is he's about to sign for us, the uh, player that we've been waiting for him to come in. Uh, Gav Gavador Diol is uh, due to sign for us. We'll uh, sort that out and uh, confirm that uh, just before the start of the next game. And so it brings us to the uh, Manchester City game. We'll have a look at the uh, incoming player in just a moment. Uh, but uh, before we uh, get that far, we played Manchester City 10 times, beaten them five times, drawn with them twice, lost to them three times. And actually the three times that we've lost to them is in the recent past. Uh, the FA Community Shield... Um, at the start of last season, we lost 4-1. Uh, we lost at uh, the um, Etihad 3-1 uh, last season. Um, and uh, then uh, we lost. Uh, we won at Stamford Bridge 3-2 in the uh, last match of the season, I think it pretty much was. And then earlier in the season, lost 2-0 at the Etihad. And on that occasion, Erling Haaland and Rafina getting the goals 31 and 79 minutes, uh, giving them a gift of a penalty as well. Uh, right, the incoming player and um, transfer news for you. Um, uh, Josco Gavardiol, um, he's come in and uh, joined us. Four-star current ability, four-star potential ability, 24 years old. He is Croatian and uh, we've, uh, I think we've done a good deal there, 88 million um, he's worth 175 to 193 million uh, pounds, and uh, well, we'll be looking to make a little bit of a profit on him if we sell him on. Uh, but uh, yeah, he's uh, come in, can play in either the uh, defensive left or in central defence, uh, whichever. He's uh, number two to Joran Timber in central defence, and uh, he is the best out on the left. Um, if we play him in that defensive left position. Has played in the Champions League. Don't, um, does, don't know if that means he's cup-tied. Possibly does. I don't, I'm not sure. Um, but uh, he uh, 7.20 in that. He's uh, two assists, seven appearances. And um, has he not? he's not played in any of the other competitions. So that uh, is uh, who's come in. Um, we've paid 88 million, as I say, for him. Been at RB Leipzig for a while. Spent most of his time in Croatia before that at Dinamo Zagreb, and uh, then uh, joined um, uh, Germany. Uh, jo joined Leipzig uh, back in 2021, uh, but uh, was loaned back to Dina Dima Dinamo Zagreb. Uh, for that season and uh, he's had three really good seasons in a row so uh, we look forward to seeing how he can do for us as a replacement for Declan Rice uh, right let's go and have a look at the team then that will face Manchester City and the team that will face Manchester City in match day 24 of the Premier League a Magana Ningo a Cucurola Fafana and Garcia is our central defence. James out on the right. Fernandes and Kovacic in front of them uh, with Otavio and uh, Barboza. I did say I would start Barboza out on the right. Came on and did wonders uh, in the game against Freiburg. Let's hope he can do the same today with a start. And uh, Mason Mount as the attacking playmaker. Havitz up front leading the attack on the bench. Karnasechi, Kulabai, Fatissi. Makes his debut on the bench. Sterling, Chilwell, Dewsbury Hall, Tell, Timber and Savic also on the bench. Uh, just to note that uh, the reason why uh, Gara, uh, Gava, D Diol, Gavol, D Gaviel, I'm going to have to pronounce I'm going to have to practice that uh, offline, is he's not fully uh, fully conditioned fit. So we uh, don't want to risk him. Uh, albeit it could have come on and made a bit of a cameo but uh, this isn't really the game to do that I don't think that is the side then that will face Manchester City and this is how the two sides face up in this uh, Premier League game Edison in goal uh, Parasai, uh, Marino uh, Ankanji and uh, Frimpong 
uh, make up the defence. Rodri is the defensive midfielder. Bernardo Silva and Kevin De Bruyne as the uh, mid central mids. Uh, Felix and Pedro are playing wide behind Haaland. Uh, Guardiola, Guardiola is um, or Guardiola is still the manager, of course, in this sphere. Phillips, uh, Kakaret, uh, Rafina, Grealish, Stefan, uh, Keiki, uh, Keiki, Keikai, uh, Woba, Doyle, and Foden on the bench. My pronunciation isn't on form today. I'm sorry. And confirmation of the two teams as the teams come out. And we have a free kick. First highlight, 10 minutes in. It was a mount free kick, but it's headed clear. And uh, Fernandez, Garcia. Garcia is trying to thread it through. And uh, Barboza has got his third goal of the season. And uh, he is good for that start. I uh, brought him on. Maybe he's going to be a regular. Who knew? Who knew? Uh, but it's a good start. Uh, 11 minutes on the clock. And, uh, oh, that caught a deflection. That was unlucky. But uh, they all count. 11 minutes on the clock. And we have a throw in on this near side. Cucarella to Fernandez. Fernandez finds Kovacic. Fernandez. He's had a go on his own, but he's just curled that over the top. De Bruyne. Frimpong. And Frimpong, uh, Tavio getting out there and getting a tackle in. Uh, but uh, they've still won the ball through. And Haaland puts it wide. I think he's gone for a corner, actually. Took a deflection. Silva. Silva crosses it in. It's Haaland who heads it over the top. Highlights coming thick and fast. Fernandez. Habits over the top looking for Barboza. He's got him. And Barboza into the area. He's had a go and he's on his own. He's gone for a corner. Mason Mounts. And oh, it's come back off the wall. It's gone in. It has gone in. And Edison, uh, it's an own goal. I'm not quite sure why. We'll see it from behind the goal and see what actually happened. Mount swings this ball in. Fafana heads it at the goalkeeper. And it's gone in. Uh, it was... No more highlights in that first half. Uh, but uh, we've done some damage in the first half an hour. And uh, they've had lots of shots and lots on target. But uh, we seem to have quelled them a little bit. 56% of the possession. So 14 shots, 6 on target, 1.33 on the XG. 56% of the possession. Somehow or other, we are in front with uh, 6 shots, just 3 on target. 50%, I suppose. Uh, 0.47 and 44% of the possession. It's not been our best hour, but uh, just goes to show. Sometimes when you think you should be... Uh, bombarded um you actually uh, come out on top but uh edison own goal as it turned out i think it was fafana really and edison um i think probably pushed it on the back of uh, finpong and it went in the back of the net so uh it's uh, down to edison as an own goal but i'll take it two nil at half time then uh can we a hang on and b can we increase that lead First highlight of the second half, 52 minutes in. It's a free kick to Manchester City. And uh, we've managed to push them back a little bit. Only for a short while, though. Frimpong. Uh, and it's cut out. But Octavio didn't do much with that. Oh, and before we see this highlight, uh, just to let you know, they've taken ha uh, Haaland off. He's obviously not been doing the business. And uh, Jack Grealish is on up front for them. Have it with a free kick then. What's going to happen here? Oh, and a good save by Edison. On target. 60 minutes on the clock. And uh, the highlight's going to continue, which is a bit of a worry. Long ball forward. But uh, James brings that down nicely. Fafana finds Cucarella. Cucarella has uh, Otavio out there. He's likely to come off very soon. Cucarella. Inside to Fernandez. Oh, just wide. Who was that headed that wide? Oh, that man, Barboza. And with uh, 61 minutes on the clock, uh, Otavio has come off. Raheem Sterling comes on to face his old side. And uh, he is playing over on the left. And uh, we're likely to make a couple more changes fairly soon. Uh, Mason Mount is tiring. 
Uh, Kai Havitz isn't... Uh, he's OK, but uh, we need to keep one eye on him. And uh, you never know. Uh, Fratesi uh, might get uh, the opportunity to come in uh, Kovacic on a yellow card. And with 76 minutes on the clock, we've made a number of other changes. Mason Mount is tired. Uh, Savic coming on for him. Uh, we've taken off Kai Havitz and brought on Mateus Tell up front. And uh, he uh, takes over. And the other change that we made, as promised, Kovacic has come off. And we have brought on for David Fratisi to make his debut for us and see how he gets on in that central mid. And with 85 minutes on the clock, our final change. And uh, we have taken off uh, a very tired Reese James on the right. Yaron Timber coming on for him. And it's Phil Foden with a corner. Swung in. It's cleared, though, by Savage, but only as far as Yao Felix and uh, their danger. But uh, Calvin Phillips heading in out of Cucarella. I think it was Phillips in, I was about to say, in that last uh, one that fired that over the top. Sterling. Sterling cuts inside. Swings it out for Barboza. He's hit the post. No more highlights. It's all over. And we have won this game. When you least expect it, won this game by two goals to nil against Manchester City. It's a six-pointer. It means that we have opened the gap up at the top of the table to nine points, boys and girls. That is what it means. And look who's got the player of the match. Barboza. He's uh, two key passes um, and he's got himself a goal. Fernandez having a good game as well. In fact, a number of that central mid having a good game. And, uh, well, uh, let's uh, see how that's affected the table. Oh, we haven't done the stats. Do apologise. I'm not right, really not at it today, am I? Uh, 14 shots, 6 on target, 1.12 on the XG. 18 shots, 6 on target, a 1.58. All in all, it was pretty even Stevens, I guess. Um, but we had the edge uh, by uh, scoring the goals. And that's what it means. Uh, in fact, no, yes, nine points is... Uh, we're up to 63 points now at the top of the table. And uh, uh, whether that uh, means that that's all over. But Liverpool are down. They've got a game in hand. Uh, down in third place on 46 points. Then come Manchester United on 40. Arsenal on 38. Newcastle on 37. Southampton on 37. Um that's uh, a good win, and uh, not, I didn't really expect it, to be honest. I thought it was going to be a, a tougher match than it was. And Manchester United are really going well at the moment. 5-0 against Fulham, and uh, they're really on form and tickety-tock. Um, so let's uh, see how that all sets up, ready for the next episode. Well, I should have realised there was a couple of other games to play. Uh, Liverpool being one of them, playing Wolves, beat them 3-0. West Ham on the bottom of the table, get a win. A very much needed win against Everton, a 2-1 win, uh, which will help them a little bit. Um, they're still on the bottom by 11 points, so they've got to really um, crawl themselves up that table. But uh, the top of the table at the end of the episode looks like this. So we're on top of 63, nine points clear of Manchester City on 54 and 14 points clear of Liverpool in third place. As I say, I think pretty much it's a two-horse race. But that gap is widening between us and Manchester City. And if it can widen a bit more, I fancy our chances to retain the Premier League. But our big one that we want to win, of course, is the Champions League. And we get another opportunity to uh, get into the uh, final 16 by way of automatic uh, when we play Stuttgart in the next episode. Stuttgart and Norwich City are our opponents in the next episode. Then we'll be coming back for the third round re FA Cup third round replay against Wolves in the episode after that one. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. It's a winning episode. I mean, what else do you want? Um, if you've enjoyed it, give me that big thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification button. Comments below will also help, of course. Apologies for the mouth not working properly today, but there you go. Sometimes it doesn't work. Uh, future episodes of this and new series will obviously be notified to you if you hit that subscription button and um, then uh, and the notification button. And then, of course, you keep up to date with all that's going on. The other way of doing uh, keeping up with all that's going on in this channel, including our other series and any new series, of course, is to follow me on Twitter at Just Offside 2. Uh, new episodes of Making Chelsea Stand Proud currently released every uh, Tuesday and Friday at 4.15pm. Next one is out on Friday. It'll be episode 88. 
and uh, it is our last opportunity to uh, get into the last eight, or not the last eight, but into the uh, eight automatic places for the Champions League league phase. We've left it until the last game, and I wish we hadn't done that. Um, and we'll have a game against Norwich in the Premier League to see if we can open that gap at the top to a bit more. Till next time, goodbye. Bye.